Welcome back to the Model Explainer segment here on Weather Plus, everybody. Tuesday morning, precipitation and pressure across the area. Like I said, we do have that bit of troughiness across parts of the lakes. And for us, that will mean some cooler air. Looks like a couple of showers likely on Monday, but for Tuesday itself, we will start to dry things out, but it will be a cool day. Temperatures only in the lower to mid-70s. We'll jump into Wednesday, and again, the bulk of the moisture with this trough begins to push its way up through parts of Canada, and it will stay there for Wednesday. And for us, like I said, it's a basic west-to-east flow. It's a relatively dry flow, so it looks like we will stay dry through the middle of the week. But looking off to the south and west, a lot of heat building and back in this area. And as that heat continues to push its way out towards the end of the week, we will start to warm up quite a bit. So by Thursday morning, dry but warmer, still low levels of humidity on Thursday. So we're going to start to get temperatures back up into the lower to mid 80s by Thursday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine in the forecast. Nice day. Again, that's the 3rd of July and dry weather to go along with it. But we are going to watch a small area of low pressure, perhaps a weak front trying to work through our area as we get into Friday. You can see a few storms with it, mainly across parts of northwestern Pennsylvania. This is going to have to be watched for the activities for Friday night. Of course, fireworks across the area, and we'll continue to fine-tune that forecast as we go deeper into the new week and see exactly where this system here, relatively weak, but we'll see where it does end up as we get into Friday evening. All the while, more heat continues to build off to the west through parts of the plains, so even if we do see a little bit of a cool down from time to time, there's always more heat ready to work back into the area and more humidity, and that will be the case again through the end of the week. So by Saturday... Basically, we're going to see that west-to-east flow or southwest-to-northeast flow by the time we get into Saturday afternoon. Temperature's warm, and it will be humid, and we stand the chance of a few storms. We'll check out your seven-day forecast coming up.